Roman Gabriel Show. It's you know it's like a it's like a going home week. I just got off the phone with my favorite coach, Coach Dick Vermeil, your favorite coach, Vince Papali, with us, the Invincible. Vince, whenever I get to see you face to face, it's a treat, brother. Thank you. So it's great to be down here with you. I remember you like lived like this, and look at you now. You're just a big dog, right? I've known this guy since I was like 16. <laughs> The real RG3 right here, baby. And, uh, of course, everybody knows about the movie Invincible, but I'm so proud of you about Vince is that you've taken that Invincible uh, tag and, and you've turned it into something special for other people, which is books, uh, speaking, uh, youth, opportunities to preach that message about invincibility. Tell me about Invincible and what that means to people out there and how you're using that to help others. Well, more than anything, you know, it's about the dream, you know, and having that dream. But, you know, with the dream, there's a price to be paid. And uh, if you're not willing to pay the price, it's never going to happen. And a lot of it, of course, is the hustle and all those things that you put into it. You talk about opportunity. I got that opportunity from Dick Vermeil, and that's why I love him so much. I mean, who, how many people would get what I got, you know, from him? <laughs> I was 30 years old, didn't play college football, never been done before, and I get the shot. And I'll tell you, your dad was one of the key guys because we struck up such a great relationship. And the three months prior to the training camp, your dad was always down there throwing balls, and he just kept throwing to me. And we, we started to develop a little bit of a rapport. And uh, so we get into training camp, and there's your dad, man. He was firing at me the whole time. And, uh, and he throws such a great catchable ball. I mean, they were impossible to drop. And, uh, and he was a major part of, of me there and giving me the confidence that I could play because I looked up to him so much because of his career there with the Rams. And I'm saying, wow, I'm here training with Roman Gabriel. And he says, I got what it takes to play in the NFL, you know. So uh, a, a lot of things came to play. But, you know, the movie now, which is so great, Roman, it sort of enables me to have my platform and be the disciple for that impossibility kind of a thing, showing that it is possible. And, uh, and, and it's a great vehicle to do it. And it's really one you of the vehicles, you know, with the book, book here. Yeah, The Last Laugh Vision of Victory. I'm right now behind me is my Dennis. teammate, roommate, Dennis Franks. Right here, Dennis yeah, Franks. Right there. I love him. And, Philadelphia uh, Eagle linebacker. And a long snapper. And in yeah. the movie, you know, he's the, he, he's the center that doesn't like anybody that snaps me and throws me on the ground and says, you got to read the knuckles. And uh, there it is for all to see. A lot of people don't know this about you. That you had a battle with cancer, yeah, real serious yeah, battle with yeah. it. Uh, uh, well, well, the bottom line though is, is you're at least able to appreciate what it's like to have your life turned upside down yeah. and what you have to do to get it back in order. How, how's that helped you, Vince, in terms of your life? Well, uh, you know, certainly it's helped me in terms of maintaining and, uh, and my life longevity because I'm a better eater <laughs> and I'm exercising better. You know, my wife says you're not going to have this happen again. You're going to constantly get screened. And I'm a spokesperson for doing a lot of that screening. But, uh, you know, it was one of those things that happened almost 17 years ago. I found out I had colon cancer. Uh, we took care of it. I was really lucky that I didn't have chemo radiation. The surgery was done basically laparoscopically or like an arthroscopic surgery on your knee. They ripped 18 inches of my colon out through my belly button. And uh, for three days I was out of the hospital working out again, you know. And, uh, um, and it, it, now, you know, and that's where the, the book helps. Um, the movie helps and it gives me an opportunity to get out and using Invincible as the uh, platform for colon cancer and rectal awareness. So I always wonder, how, what's your relationship with Mark Wahlberg? Tremendous. We were talking on the phone just the other the, uh, last week, actually. He, he, I, I'm, I text him all kinds of stuff, you know, pictures of the kids because we're pretty close. And they got back to me and said, hey, that's really cool. Give me a call. And I called him. Here he was in Colombia. And uh, in South America, you know, filming a new film. And I asked him if he was coming to the game. And he has a shooting schedule that they're trying to change. And I said, if you come, you better be wearing that 83, baby. So there's a lot of stuff out there on social media. If you, if you uh, Google up Papali Wahlberg right now, there's a lot of fun stuff about, you know, who's he going to root for and all that. But Mark and I are great friends. Uh, he did a terrific job. I'm so proud to say that Mark Wahlberg played me in Invincible. So very cool. Vince Papali, I could talk to this guy forever, my buddy. Thanks, man. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching the Roman Gabriel Show. And for more exclusive video and audio archives, go to our official website at romangabrielshow.com. That's romangabrielshow.com. And enjoy. We'll see you soon. Listen to the Roman Gabriel Show at romangabrielshow.com or wherever you listen to podcasts.